Hello everybody, it's Brett here, Lionheart84, and I just was going to do a thought. I'd do a quick short video on which of the tropical fruits that I grow and subtropical fruits seem to be more adaptable to our cool British summers when I put them outside for the summer, i.e. which ones seem to be less affected by the cold winds and cold spells we get and which ones seem to grow quicker. Um, and therefore a better bet if you're going to move them if you've got somewhere to grow them and move them inside and outside now I think it goes without saying that one of the hardiest ones and the most adaptable seem to be these strawberry guavas in fact all of the guava family seem to be quite tolerant of our cold summers now this one here apart from the fact it probably was growing most of the winter slowly it hasn't stopped growing in summer I've had a few a couple of flowers on it although I've had some flower buds dry up and fall off as well I think it's a bit pot bound and needs to be repotted so one of the ones I'd definitely recommend considering is guava now in comparison if you look at the egg fruit next to it it's just starting to send out new shoots now but it lost all of its previous leaves barring a couple from the wind and the cold weather and it is now shooting in several places along the stem there's new shoots coming out at the top new shoots at the top of that stem there not easy to focus because the wind's blowing the stem around and the camera doesn't like focusing when the stems are moving so it looks like the eggplant's going to grow a bit here but it's not really very successful now my chair and moyers have had no problems with them they've probably put on a foot already this year since the well certainly since the spring and they've been outside since may haven't stopped growing no troubles with the cherry moors as far as i can see another one that's giving no problem is the ice cream bean i would think that's growing a foot since it's been outside in may doesn't seem to be too doesn't like the wind but it's not affecting it too badly and you look at something like this long and here and it's done absolutely nothing so far because we've had about three weeks of cold weather and basically no new growth has come out on it um, tamarillos seem to be happy in the cold no real problems with them now another one that seems to be happy in the cool temperature and winds and it's doing very well now is my rose apple you can see the beautiful red growth on it now these shoots have all come out in the last two weeks it's not a quick grow in terms of it doesn't continue to grow it seems to grow it seems to have what I call growth spurts you'll get a, a new shoot come out which if I'm just told this still in the wind a new shoot will come out and that will probably grow about six inches and stop and then I'm guessing in about two months time you'll get another growth of six inches so it's not a continuous grower it grows in fits and starts but it doesn't seem to be being too bothered by the cold winds we have now the mango on the other hand which is considerably more tropical is a nightmare outside here it has as you can see made new growth on it but really the weather for the last two or three weeks has not been very good and it's not been at all happy out here um, ideally these should be in a greenhouse or a conservatory growing them outside in the garden's a bit in, in the skull in summer in the UK is a bit silly really but I haven't got anywhere to put it and they need to toughen up citrus again not too much of a problem outside here they're used to Mediterranean climate so although their growth rate slows down here and they can turn a bit yellow don't seem to be any there's no major hardness issues with the winds um, and going back to the guava that's definitely one of the more successful growers outside here now you'll have seen this plant in videos this is the one that I virtually wait for the motorbike to go past this is one that I pretty much completely lost due to root rot or suffocation and I actually bare rooted the plant back in I think it was March and for about a month it virtually looked like two twigs and then the first branch appeared which is this one here I don't know if I can get into it to show it it, it originates the new branch originates in there now in actual fact that branch has grown 
April. Since April, that's grown the best part of, well, it's between a foot and eight, I'd say nearly 18 inches. So that shows the growth rate that a guava, now that's a more tropical guava, that's not a strawberry guava, but you can see even these side shoots, which came out much later, are all a good six inches long. So provided you can give it winter protection, you don't do what I did, which is overwater it and rot the roots. Um, there's no doubt about it, guava is one of the true tropical fruits that can do very well over here. And I think they're happy outside probably from the end of May through until the middle of October. And then they've got to go somewhere sheltered, either a greenhouse conservatory or in my case they go into the kitchen. But they're certainly one of the quicker growing tropical fruits because they grow continuously from the end of the stem they don't grow in growth spurts like the mangoes and the rose apples and i suspect that the eggplants will prove to grow in spurts as well my babaco is not doing too bad but i haven't really got what i call decent sized leaf growth on it i'm not sure if the plant might be a bit pot bound and I need to consider repotting it into a bigger pot because the leaves are disappointingly small compared to last year but it did take a bit of a knock with the growth back in May and got an infestation of red spider mites so that could have caused a problem as well but um, certainly the ones to consider are any of the guava family you've got a chance of getting them keeping them going over here and I would say in time a chance of getting fruit so guavas, tamarillos if you can keep them frost free in winter are quick growing citrus provided you don't keep killing them off the roots like I do and it looks to me like cherimoyas seem to be quite adaptable here because they come from low I think they come from higher altitudes in South America so uh, they're one of the hardier uh, members of the custard apple one and owner families so uh, they're my recommendations cherimoyas guavas particularly strawberry guava which is very tough uh, perhaps the rose apples um, can't report too much on the egg fruits yet because I haven't had it long enough to know um, and they're probably I think white sapotes are supposed to be much tougher and grow well grow well out here in our colder summers but I haven't got yet one yet so we're waiting to see in the future but thanks for watching everybody that was just a quick talk about which of the tropicals might be more successful to grow outside here in summer and should maintain a good growth rate in uh, in our cooler climate and i forgot to include the ice cream bean among those because that's certainly growing very quickly um, thank you for watching please remember to give the video a thumbs up uh, please uh, remember to share it with anyone you think's interested subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and obviously if you hit the bell you'll get notified of new videos as I post them so you can see whether things like this egg fruit continue to grow through our summer catch up with you all in the next video Brett out for now